What is up, friends and fans? Jake here to talk about everything the official trailer for Kirby's Dream Buffet did not tell you. Now, this information comes via Nintendo's press release, the Japanese official website for the game, and some very minor trailer sleuthing. So without any further ado, let's check out Kirby's greatest challenge yet, a race to become the biggest boy. Hadouken! Okay, so first, we can work out some details about the story through a rough translation of the Japanese website. Basically, Kirby arrives at this special buffet festival and tries to eat this big cake before the party begins. Now, right before Kirby is able to do so, this mysterious golden fork transforms Kirby into a small pink puff. But as you can see, Kirby is not that upset about it. He actually seems pretty happy about all the giant food. Now, for reasons unbeknownst to me, nothing I could figure out, other Kirbys also join in. And though the cake is too big to eat, they are now all competing against each other to get the most strawberries in their tums. We see that stages are decorated with all sorts of sweets and treats, and I thought we were doing only desserts, but we can see in the trailer here a level seemingly modeled after sandwiches or breakfast, so Kirby definitely appreciates the savory side of things too. We also see that different stages seem to have different setups. There are levels organized like a race alongside a level that looks more like a four-player battle arena, but don't be fooled. It seems that no matter how the stage is set up, your goal is always the same. Collect the most strawberries. While being ahead in a race might afford you more opportunities to do that, there may be times where slow and steady wins the uh, buffet. But getting to the end faster than everyone else won't mean much if you do not gobble strawberries. I should mention that the game is confirmed to support local and online play, and it looks like four players is the maximum. A funny thing seems to happen in these race stages too. The game actually fills in more players with CPU controlled Waddle Dees. And listen, I'm glad Waddle Dee is here. But are they even eating strawberries? Could one be crowned the champion? I, I will have to test this out later. Next, there are a couple of enemies in the trailer. We see Master Hand and Crazy Hand count you down to start a race. A Gordo is a spiky obstacle here for those trying to like take a shortcut and score some strawberries. And uh, Donut Frosted Kabus are chilling in this burger world. And lastly, we can see some bouncy enemies in the distance here. And I think the thing about these enemies, the thing that links them all together, is that I don't think any of them typically give Kirby any copy abilities, which makes sense because in this game, Kirby has copy food abilities instead. We even see three on display in this trailer. So first, there's this super fast wheel that lets Kirby roll over his competition. And if we slow down the video, we see that there's some frosting and sprinkles on this yellow Kirby. So that's a donut ability. Second, Kirby uses his stone ability in the shape of chocolate to create a huge shockwave here, making room so he can collect strawberries. And third, the Japanese website refers to this as a soft serve ability, but Kirby looks more like a cupcake to me. I don't know, get in the comments if you think you know either way. But this ability emulates Kirby's tornado power to suck in strawberries in a wide radius. And again, this game is all about strawberries. We learned from the Nintendo UK Twitter account that you aren't going to want to fall behind early in a competition either because being bigger also makes your Kirby faster which seems like a good advantage to have. And finally, the biggest Kirby at the end of all of this is weighed and crowned the champion. And with that, we have covered everything we know about Kirby's Dream Buffet so far. But with a summer release, surely we will have our hands on the game soon and be able to provide you with more information. Now me, personally, I'm allergic to strawberries. So a game about eating as many as I can is freaking me out a little, but I'll do it for Kirby. Let me know in the comments what you think of Dream Buffet. Is this smorgasbord wetting your whistle or are you moving on to other things this summer? Uh, anyways, I am Jake and for everything else in games, you are already in the right place. So just let us explain. I will see you next time. Goodbye.